Hello everyone and welcome to another furniture flipping makeover where I show you the process I took to redo this mid-century modern six drawer dresser and how I turned it for a profit. As you can see I have here a beautiful mid-century style of piece in a dark brown finish that does show some signs of wear and can use a little bit of TLC. The drawer does look like it had something spilled in it and it does have some dry glue on the side. Other than that it's not too bad of shape. I really like the legs, I plan on doing a gold metallic on those as well as the handles. I start by removing all the drawers and numbering them so that I can put them back in the same place that I took them out from, just so I can give it a good cleaning and everything goes back together the way that it should. After removing the drawer I did notice that the slide was a little loose and the hole was bored out so I had to replace it with something to keep it secure. I also found that some of the slides under the drawers were either broken in half or completely missing at all and I'm going to have to come up with something to replace these with. I decided to make my own using some scrap 2x4s that I had laying around in my shop to create some new slides for the drawers. When using power tools you want to be sure to follow all manufacturer safety guidelines and instructions and be super careful. Here's a piece that I just finished using my table saw. I set the depth of the blade so it doesn't make a cut all the way through the wood, but gives me a nice channel. After finishing up the wood tracks, I'm going to use some Tybon 2 glue to go ahead and glue it down, and I'm going to use some pin nails to tack it down just to keep it nice and secure. I'm using TSP degreaser to clean the entire dresser to make sure there's no dirt or grime left on it when I go to sand it so that way I don't get anything that digs into the wood. After cleaning I'm going to go ahead and scuff sand the entire dresser using a 150 grit sandpaper just to give the new paint something to stick to. I can't use my electric sander for the face because the edges are rounded so I'm going to go ahead and hand sand those so that way I can get it nice and scuffed up. I decided not to paint the drawers because I'm going to sand them down to bare wood and I'm going to stain them the same color as I'm going to stain the legs. I start off by using an 80 grit sandpaper, I work my way up to 150 and finally I end with a 220 to give it a nice smooth finish before I apply my stain. I applied some wood putty to get rid of some of the little minor dents and low spots that it had just so that it looks a lot cleaner once the stain is applied. Mm -hmm. 
When using an electric sander on drawer faces, you want to be very careful for the edges because you don't want to dig into them and round them out. After sanding down to bare wood, you really want to give these a good cleaning, so I'm using some mineral spirits just to get all the dirt and dust off the faces. I'm tipping the dresser on its back so that I can remove the legs so that way I can sand them down to bare wood, stain them, and paint the caps a metallic gold. After removing the legs I needed a way to prop it up so I'm using some old paint cans to get it off the ground before I start to paint. Since I'm painting the dresser white, I'm using Zinzer's white stain blocking primer as my base coat. I thin it out by around 10% using water because I'll be using my HVLP spray gun. I typically only use about two coats of primer, but since there's raw wood exposed on the top, I'm going to do about three to four just to give it some good coverage so I don't get any bleed through. I'm using my electric sander to sand the legs down. Doing this, you want to be super careful not to stay in one spot. You want to kind of keep everything moving back and forth so that you don't create flat spots. I'm using an oil-based wood conditioner to give me a more uniform look when I go to apply my stain. It just keeps from giving you blotchy dark spots and light spots and it just looks a lot better. After giving the conditioner the proper amount of time to dry, I'm going to go ahead and use a special walnut varathane penetrating stain to go ahead and give it a nice rich color. For my top coat I like to use Varathane satin finish, polyurethane and a water based finish. I like to go ahead and give it about 2 to 3 coats with the light sanding of maybe 220 in between every coat. For 
the drawer handles I'll be using Rust-Oleum's metallic gold paint. I'll also be painting the bottom caps on the feet to match. The first coat you want to go very light and try not to achieve full coverage to avoid drips and runs. I'm applying the same top coat to all the drawer fronts. I'll probably do two to three coats as well with sanding in between every coat. Now it's time for my favorite part of any project and that's reassembly where I go ahead and attach any feet or any kind of hardware that I've taken off and put it back on and this piece is almost done. Thank you to everyone who made it this far. I'm really happy with the way the piece turned out. Now let's go ahead and get some before and after pictures and see how it turned out. Now for another favorite part of mine, let's talk the numbers. I picked this piece up on Facebook Marketplace for $40, I spent about $20 on paint and I already had the stain and clear coat from a previous project putting me at a total cost of $60 as well as around 6 hours of labor. I then just sold it a few days later for $450 at a total profit of $390. So that's going to be it for this furniture flip and I'll see you on the next one.